Hello all, Sabello here. Here you'll see the baby little fish I was referring to last night. These are called yellow labs or yellow libido and they are an African cichlid fish. They can grow up to about five to six inches. These however are just a matter of days old. They, uh, their parents, what they do is the female drops a bunch of eggs, the male goes over and fertilizes those eggs, then the female go back over, place them back in her mouth, and what she does is rotate the eggs around for about four weeks. And what it does is oxygenate the eggs and make sure no diseases attach itself to them. And then obviously um, after about another, I think a week or two, then she spits the defrier and they are the size. So you can imagine she carry quite a few and a few have already died as well. I, I think roughly there's about 10 normally. There can be more, but my ones so far have been producing 10. I'll try and zoom out a little bit. I will show you bigger brother and sisters in another tank. Then I'll show you the mothers and the dads. At the top here, I've also got them mixed in with some deformed guppies. So I'm keeping the deformed guppies away from the rest of the guppies. I might actually just quickly show you that. And here you will see the baby guppies. Now these ones are not deformed and obviously I don't want to mix the two. Otherwise they're going to produce deformed babies. So any babies that I see that are deformed will be whipped out of the tank and put straight into the other tank. Them little yellow labs in there, they're not going to stay. Let's pause this a sec. So these little guys in here are not going to be staying in here forever. I just want them to get about a quarter of an inch bigger. And then they won't be big enough to fit into their brother and sister's mouth. And they can go into a much larger tank where they actually should be. But for this little uh, 45, 60 litre tank, somewhere around there, maybe 30. For now it's fine, it's not cruelty. I mean, when, when you go back a little bit, you can see it, it's a small tank. But uh, it's more than adequate for them little yellow dots going around in there. Now this one is, uh, unfortunately, it keeps swimming away from me. It's, they are quite nervous fish. Here you can see the size of that reflection in the glass. It is quite a bit bigger than its little brother and sisters. Let's see if we can swing back over this area. They do like to hide in these plants. When they get bigger, they'll actually start to eat the plants. So the plants are in here for now while they're small. Uh, because I'll, I'll have another use. There is a few dying leaves. I've had to try and rescue these plants from another tank that didn't have strong enough lighting to keep them going. The other two in here, there's an even bigger one than that one, is hiding, and there's a smaller one that was from a different generation. Unfortunately, they're hiding. We, we can't find them. They're in there hiding somewhere, probably underneath the pump somewhere. But let's go and see the mum and dads. Dad is the most nervous out of all of them. There's one of the mums at the top there and Dad, you can just see sort of eyes sticking out there. He's, he's very inquisitive but very shy at the same point. Here is another one just about to come out. Well, and there she goes. There's one of my beautiful females. Sorry for any uh, glare back, my apologies. She is about, I'd say about four to five inches big. They, she won't really get any bigger than that. The male is, about six inches, just move my fingers out of the way there. I'm having some problems with algae at the minute. Here's a homemade um, pump using K1 media, which is like a floating bed media. So what it does, it rotates the good bacteria, sorry, the new bacteria stays towards the bottom and the old bacteria goes towards the top. And then what they do is they collide and the old bacteria comes off and dies. So it's a great little technique and I've used it using an old Pepsi bottle. The K1 Media, I've made at least uh, four pumps and there's still more K1 Media left and it cost me, I think, about £10. So it's really, really cheap stuff. you just got to be able to find it. You can get it on eBay and here is another pump. Looking a bit dirty, but it also got cleaned the other day. I'm having some issues uh, with some old food, so I've changed over the food now and hopefully if I keep sucking this up every, I'd say, three days, then we'll be able to get rid of all this rubble at the bottom and it'll look a lot cleaner. As I said, we're having a problem with algae. It seems like the old food was helping contribute to the algae boom that I've had uh, with this tank. It's been going for a good few months now, so that's not the issue. However, I hope you like these fish. There is another mama shot. Dad is gonna hide. He will never come out unless I'm hiding around a corner or something. He's very clever. He's in there, he knows I'm here. However, there is one baby left in this tank somewhere. I've not seen it today, but I know it's in there. 
I hope you've enjoyed a small insight into my fish. Thanks for watching all, and bye for now.